Hi everyone, welcome back to my AP Calculus classroom. Today I will explain average value of a function. I jumped to uh, average value of function of this textbook because I already explained the LRAM, RRAM, MRAM, and TAM before. So I came to average value of a function. Let, let me start. So what is the average value of a function? The formula is this. Formula is this. One over b minus a times integral from a to b fx dx. So what is small fx integral? Indefinite integration of small fx is large fx, right? So this this part actually large f of b minus large f of a over b minus a. Okay, so this means the graph, if that graph is y equals f, x graph, this point is a, this point is b. So actually integral, integral fx dx from a to b, that means it's area under the curve with the x-axis. I already explained that when I explained Riemann sum, okay? So, large f of b minus large f of a, this part represents the area of this shade region. And if you divide that area by the length of that area, right? b minus a, this length is b minus a. And then we're going to find average value of this function. Okay, let me solve some example problem from now. Let's go. Example 37. Find the average value of fx equals ln x on the interval 1, 4. So by the formula, it's 1 over b minus a. a is 1, b is 4. So 4 minus 1, an integral 1 to 4, ln x, dx. You remember that integral of ln x, integral of ln x dx, there was x times ln x minus x plus c. Okay, I really recommend you memorize this formula. You can you can prove it using by part integration by part, but just memorizing is much easier. So one over four, one over four minus one. That part one third. And then in Taylor ln x, there was x ln x minus x from 1 to 4. So plug in time number is 4 times ln 4 minus 4. And then minus plug in bottom number 1 times ln 1 minus 1. What happened? ln1 is 0, right? ln log base, any base of 1 is always 0. This part is 0. Okay, so the denominator will be 3. The numerator, so we have 4 ln4 four basically. Then it is minus 4, and then negative, negative 1 is positive 1. So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So this is the answer. This is the average value of this function. Okay, let me solve example 38 now. Find the average value of y for the semicircle y equals square root of 4 minus x squared or negative 2 and 2. So by the formula, in uh, 1 over b minus a, b is 2, a is negative 2, so 2 minus negative 2. Integral negative 2, 2 to a to b. I erase this part. What is the function? fx, square root of, right? Square root of 4 minus x square dx. So sometimes, yeah, you don't have to find 
integral, the indefinite integral of this function of square roots 4 minus x squared. It is not easy to find the integration, right? But we know this is a semicircle. What kind of semicircle? It is, if you put the square square on both sides in the original function, y squared equals to 4 minus x squared, right? That means this is x squared plus y squared equals 4. That means this kind of thing, negative 2, 2, 2. So integral, negative 2, 2, 2, this semicircle dx, which means the area under the graph with the x-axis. That semicircle is the area, right? So radius is 2. So by the formula, right? Pi r squared, 4 pi is full circle's area, and it is a semicircle divided by 2. Means 2 pi. Means 2 pi. Right? So this part is 2 pi. So 1 over 2 minus negative 2, 4 times 2 pi. Because integral means area under the curve with x axis. But integral value can be negative number, negative value if that graph is under the x axis. But in this case, the same circle is over the x axis. So integration value is area. So final answer is pi over 2. Okay, let's go to example 39. The graph A through E in figure, oh, I cannot go back there. I skip this problem, okay? I jump to example 40. Identify each of the following quantities for the function fx whose graph is shown in figure uh n6 that's 198 maybe this figure this figure let's talk about this figure a what does it mean fb minus fa it is fx right so this y value when x equals a is f of a and then y value and x equals b is f of b so f B minus F A means that difference delta Y, the change of Y values between two points, delta Y. So this is delta Y. What does it mean F B minus F A over B minus A? B minus A means this length, right? This is delta X. That is B minus A. And so that's why this value is delta y over delta x. This is a definition of a slope of two points between two points. So it is a slope between two points between a f a and b f of b. Between these two points, slope is fb minus fa over b minus a so average rate of changes between those two points what about large c i mean c large f of b minus large f of a you can change that integral a to b fx dx because large fx represents indefinite integral of small fx so large fx and then plug in top number minus the small number. That's a definite integration value. I told you definite integration value represents what? Area under the curve with x-axis. In this case, graph is above the x-axis. Integration value is equal to area. If the graph is under the x-axis, yeah, absolute value of integration value will be mm, area. But in this case, just is area, right? Is area. Area of this shaded region. What about D? That area divided by this length. I told you that is a definition of what? Definition of mm, average value of the function. So I can change it a little. 1 over B minus A integral A to B and then small fx dx. You can change it like this, right? Exactly, there's an average value. 
average value of this function y cross fx. Yep. Yes, I explained only, I focused on only uh, average, fun average value of the function today. But next in the next video, I start to solve exercises problem with this chapter. I literally explain most of the concept in the chapter in my previous videos, right? So check, watch my video, and then please click subscribe and like and turn on notification. I thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you. Bye-bye.